Are you ready for a healthy Mediterranean diet experience? Hmm? I am. Are you? I am. Today we're taking the pizza to the next level. Welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Oh yes, today we are making such a unique pizza. All meal, also yes. known as Oveto oh, Integrale. In Integrale Italia. pizza dough. Such a beautiful pizza yeah. that is gonna be light in your belly, light in your stomach, and maybe you can have two pizzas instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> today we learn all the fantastic techniques of this fascinating, I call it, yeah. pizza dough. And today we are with the flower technician, the scientist of the flowers, the, the man that talks to the flower, <laughs> Enrico from Altaglio Pizzeria. Enrico, piacere. Piacere, thank you. And my name is Enrico Sgarbossa. I'm a flower technician, as you say, and I work for Le Cinque Stagioni Flower. And today we will see how to make a whole meal flower dough pizza. Okay, so the man who talks to the flower, what do we do now? How do we make the dough? So now we start with our sourdough. This is a technique that is quite popular on the bakery, okay. bakery side, yes. on the baker world. So we want all the flavor from the grain for the whole wheat to come up and give us the best way to enjoy it with a very light final product. Final product. So, so we have in there? So now we have, uh, in this case, 500 gram of flour, wholemeal flour, okay. 500 gram of water, so half liter of water, and f in this case, one gram of fresh yeast. So we will spread the fresh yeast into the flour. We will put our gloves on. So, so what simply what we're going to do is to mix the water into the flour. You will see now then how dark it becomes when they start to absorb the water and you actually see their whole meal. Whole meal. So what's the benefit of all meal or all wheat? The oh. benefits are different. First of all, fiber. Okay. It's rich on fiber. Okay. So it's uh, easy for our body to digest. to digest. And all the vitamins then we find on the brain of the wheat. Right. So, uh, compared to a double zero flour, this is more rich in protein, vitamins, fiber. So perfect for the Mediterranean diet. Yes. Because full of fiber. Exactly. Uh, perfect to someone then would like to have more fiber in the diet, in the diet. and uh, would like to have a uh, pizza. You know, yeah, still eating a pizza. Yes. So, this one will be our sourdough base, okay? And after that, we will add some fresh flour okay. to finish our dough. So now our sourdough is ready and uh, we let them rest for around 10 hours at room temperature. Here we go, our sourdough after 10 hours is fluffy, it makes some bubble, as you can see when you scroll it. We will add for this recipe, add 500 gram of fresh flour, always wholemeal, and we're gonna incorporate it inside our bowl. We will add three grams of fresh yeast and we sprinkle inside the flour. We start to mix all together. Oatmeal flour is a process of milling all the wheat, all the grain. So from all the part of the grain will be mixed and will be milled on the same bag and that is the whole wheat flour. So for this recipe we have 200 ml of water to finish our dough and we incorporate the water into the dough and we start to mix it all together. So when the dough is almost ready we will add 25 grams of salt and the remaining water to dissolve the salt into the flour. Why we add only 200 ml? Because the 500 ml is previously inside our sourdough base. This flour originally was uh, created for pastry. And after that, in Italy, uh, people start to want something more healthy, also on the pizza. And uh, we see then the final result was an am amazing pizza, whole meal. And we start to use it as well into 
the pizza world. A tip for you is uh, don't overstress the dough when you knife the dough. So as soon as you see then the dough is actually almost ready, leave it, leave it there for a couple of minutes to rest. Like this, the gluten is going to be the relax. It's going to be very easy to final and uh, to finish the uh, get a smooth and final product. So now we sprinkle some flour on the bench. Okay, we take the dough. Then it was resting for a few minutes, and we finish the dough on the bench, and we become very smooth. We shape our dough as a bowl, and we let them rest in the bowl. We cover the dough and we leave it rest for around 20 to 30 minutes and after we will do our balls we got them rest inside a trays for 5-6 hours and they're ready to go welcome back and now our dough is ready to be boiled up so let's start to weight the bowl we put the, our dough into the bench we scale it at 270-280 grams each Yes! Perfection! <laughs> so, we start to boil up the bowl. We take the bowl and we shape it. And we do this process. It looks like then we have a mozzarella cheese and we're gonna close it, tie it up properly. Hope we roll them up on our pan and this is it. With a one kilo of uh, flour, you will make around six to seven pizza. Smell this, how good it is. Huh? Mmm, so delicate, so yeah. different. I was through before when I told you then it was actually quite rustic and a sweet taste. You have, just you have changed my life. You have changed my point of view about pizzas. About wholemeal pizza. About wholemeal pizza. You know, so, many times I went to the shop and I look at wholemeal, wholemeal. And not for me. I don't know what it is. I'm not into that thing, into this, but hey, now I am because I know how to use it. And now let's cook it then. Let's cook it. So today we will make a, a contemporary margarita pizza. Our dough is ready. It's very soft, very delicate, because inside we have a total almost of 70% of hydration. So what are a, you using at the bottom? It's a Durum Simolina. Oh. It's a coarse Simolina. I like the taste of Simolina when it's cooking. It's more sweet rather than the bitterness of uh, the normal flour. So we stretch very gentle, but you still can see then it have a quite good strength on wow. opening. Yeah. Don't forget that we have 100% wholemeal flour in this case, so the, how you manipulate is slightly different from the other uh, double O flour. So we have a tomato polpa. So it's basically a tomato, just a tomato sauce, Italian tomato sauce. It's an Italian polpa. I don't use a whole peel. I use right. a polpa because Chopped. I like more rustic. This is uh, more rustic, uh, not watery. That's the tomato that I actually like. Oh! And we will cook it at 360 degrees for a few minutes. So we are going to turn the pizza just halfway. It's almost cooked. 180 degree and a few seconds and it's gonna be ready. And this is our pizza, like you see, very crunchy, well cooked, it feels very light. And now we will going to cut and top our contemporary margarita. It raised perfectly, the smell is beautiful and all this kind of bubble inside is uh, for is the symptom is the way that the flour is actually raised very well and is going to be very delicate and light we will finish our margarita with an emulsion of a basil so this is a emulsion, basil emulsion there we go to garnish a beautiful leaf a rocket you can eat it as well Enrico, this is the favorite part of the video. Of the course. The moment I was waiting for. Of course, <laughs> everyone probably is waiting for. I mean, I love the ingredients that you put on top. It's really good, but I can't wait to try the dough. Can I get a piece? Of course, go for Let's it. Get a piece, because this dough looks fantastic. Please have a piece too. Thank you. So let's see what it's all about. What this all meal, all wheat flour is all about. 
Mm. It's crunchy and moist inside. Yeah, I like the sound when you, I like it, I like it. I like the mozzarella on top. Mm, the fior di latte is good. Thank you, Rigo. Thank you to the Cinque Stagioni Flower. Yeah. Thank you to Rigo for showing us your secrets. He's the You're only welcome. one in Sydney who does these type of pieces. So he deserves a big round of applause and a nice comment. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Play video recipe. E ora si mangia. Mangiamo. Vincenzo's Play. Ciao from Sydney. Ciao. Mamma mia, questo è buonissimo. Mmm. Here we go. This is the future. I know it is. The past is coming back to the future. <laughs>